Tell a friend to tell a friend that do it our haul is in. And we're back with another NBA 2K24 next gen build video. And today I have another rare build for you guys, man. We have the two way slashing threat. Yes, I have created this build before, but we're making builds a little bit better now, just updating them. And I have created the slashing threat. So if you guys want to see those builds, they are on the channel. But this build right here is a versatile build. Being able to get gold glove, gold intercepted, gold right stick ripper, you will be able to finish at the rim. You will be able to play good perimeter defense. You can get your own shots. You can block shots. So I really like that about this build. So make sure you guys watch that, watch the video to the end so I can show you this masterpiece. Choose the hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. But before I go any further, you already know what time it is. If you don't know, now you know. It's like button time. And I need you guys to go down there and hit that like button. Get this video to 100 likes if you haven't already um you know hit the link in the description to join the discord and follow me on twitch so we have a shooting guard build as you can see six foot eight for the height i tried six seven guess what could make the build the same 196 on the weight seven six on the wingspan let's get into it so we're going to go ahead and start with the finishing now the finishing is really really similar to the other build uh, we have a 90 driver dunk Taking it up too high, you probably changed the build name to a slasher. So we took it up to a 90 on the drive and dunk, which will give us Pro R1 and Pro R2. And we get silver posterized along with silver um, slithery. So that's pretty good in my opinion, man. We got some Hall of Fame badges in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. We got some Hall of Fame badges in there. We got um, a couple of gold badges in there. So you will be a good finisher with this build. Now the layup, I just left it right there. Um, you still get Phyllis finish on this build. You don't get Giant Slayer on gold. That would have been nice. But, you know, we had to do some other things on the build. Um, the close shot is going to stay right there at a 50. Um, you know, it went right there on its own. So that's where we're going to leave it at. Now the standard dunk. Y'all know I really want to get that standard dunk a lot higher. But um, the way that I set the build up, we can only get it to a 45, right? So a 45 is not super bad, but it's not super good either. You know, you still will get some of those standard dunk animations. You 6'8". So you'll be able to go up at the rim um, with this build. But we're not necessarily trying to focus on the standard dunk. But if you are one of those people like myself, I love standard dunk. I like to have it around a 73 for every build. And, um, you know, uh, 73 and up for every build. But, you know, 45 is for the people that really don't care about standard dunk. All right. Now, we're going down to the physicals. We're going to get the speed up a little bit. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get that acceleration up. Right. We're going to get the strength up a little bit. And we're going to get that vertical up. Don't make the mistake of not taking your vertical high enough because you'll miss out on the contact dunks. I see it too often on this game. A lot of people, they have a build with certain attributes but don't have the um, the numbers up high enough to get what they're supposed to get or trying to get. Okay. But as you can see, we do get silver post riser, like I said, and um, pretty good finishing build. But let's go ahead and get into the green bean. Make your girl scream badges. So with the three-point shot, this is a rare build. We can get it to a 77. That's that's what we got. Okay, that will push a lot of people away from this build. Um, but like I said, I will make a build with a 77.3 just to show you guys that it can be done. Mid-range shot. I had that at a 76, but, um, you know, it's up to you guys on what you want to do with that. I had that at a 76, but I ended up taking it down to a 72. Um, at 76, you get green machine and space create on silver so if you really care about those badges like that leave it at a 76 but you will have to take the ball handle down i didn't want to take the ball handle down i want you to be able to move around and get your own shot i'm talking about move around with a purpose not just being able to dribble i want you to be able to catch some ankles okay so a 72 mid range is what we got uh we do get mid magician with that but you know the badges are all bronze and silver as you can see nothing special about that you know, and I know a lot of people will see that they're going to complain or whatnot. And, you know, it's a rare bill, man. You're not going to see this bill floating around too tough. You know, um, you're going to see a lot of mid-range bills, a lot of three-level threats and things of that nature running around. So um, this bill is considered different in my opinion. But let's go ahead and get into the sauce. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody and mama can see this video. And I need everybody and mama to see the video, so do that for your boy, boy. Now, with the pass accuracy, you don't have to take it this high if you don't want to, but I did take it to a 77. That does allow us to get um, needed thread on bronze, as you can see. 
Uh, we also have brake starter right there. We got relay passer. We got special delivery. So you will be able to pass good with this build just in case your point guard can't get the job done. And they say, hey, man, we want you to run point. Yes, you can run point with this. I have a point guard with a 77 uh, passing, and I know what it can do. And that build does give me what I need when it comes to, um, you know, making passes or whatever. Like, it's, it's really, really good in my opinion, man. Uh, we try to test things out me and my homies you know we try to test things out like they'll put some on their bills and test it out and i'll put some on my bill to test it out and then you know we just come to the conclusion that hey man that don't work you feel what i'm saying so it's like i play the game every day to figure out things for you guys that's just what i do okay now with the ball handle like i said you could take it to an 81 but an 80 does change the name of the bill an 81 is good don't get me wrong but um having gold anchor breaker will put you on another level i promise you that so if you want a higher mid-range just take your ball handle down to an 81 and you can get your mid-range up to an 86 i mean a 76 okay um as far as the speed with ball we're going to do a 75 on that uh we do get silver triple strike silver speed booster silver hyperdrive silver blow by so that's really really good like i said gold anchor breaker Silver blow by and silver handle for days is another really special bass that I think you guys should invest in if you have a build that like that you like to dribble on. Okay, we also have physical handles on gold. We got um, killer combos on bronze, so you should be good when it comes to getting your own shot. Now, if you go against a lockdown, just stay away from that lockdown or try to stay away from them, you know because silver unpluckable ain't it. I'm gonna tell you that now, but you know that's the risk you take when you make a six foot eight build. But let's get into the defense. So with this build, we wanted to make sure that we had good defense, right? So good defense to me would be some shot blocking, would be some perimeter defense, and some steal. Now you can get away with not having shot blocking if you um, are that good, you know what I'm saying? But some people can't. Okay, at the point guard position, yes. I made a point guard with no shot blocking. Hell, I even made a shooting guard with no shot blocking. That was kind of a risk, but, you know, that was the risk I was willing to take because I know what I can do. Okay, as far as the interior defense, we're going to get that to a 61, and we're going to get that shot blocking up to a 79 so we can get uh, bronze, anchor, bronze, um, pogo, and silver chase down order. So that's really, really good. As far as the perimeter defense, we're going to get that up to an 88. That's how we're going to get the two-way name. And um, that's going to be good in my opinion. You know, you get challenge on gold. You get 94 feet gold, all ball pass gold. Um, I think you get workhorse gold, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you will get workhorse on gold too. Okay, um, for the steel, we're going to take that to a 91. 91 steel is legit, man. Gold glove, gold interceptor, gold right stick rip. You can't go wrong with that. Okay, no rebound, of course. You can add that if you want to. Um, as far as the speed, you see we got acceleration, strength, vertical, and the rest is on stamina. Now, let's get into these shades of are you ready? Because guess what? I do not clickbait. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Now, shooting guard, y'all know we're going to have some of the same name, Doug, Christian Herbert Jones, and DeJounte Murray. And the build name is the infamous, rare, two-way slashing threat. That's the build I'm out of here, man. Charge!